Having watermark can be frustrating after all the hard work that you put in your videos. Even if you wanted to add a bit of someone else's shot in your video and that with the permission of the owner. As you know, this is a beginner's guide to remove watermark from your videos. For those who are starting new in the editing world and YouTube, nevertheless, that doesn't mean if you are a bit further up in the editing process, you can't watch this video. So use this guide to enhance your editing skills and make yourself like a pro with my 6 easy and simple steps. I'm going to show you how to remove watermark on your mobile as well as your computer so that you have both the options available if for any reason you didn't want to use one or the other. Thus, you will see in this tutorial videos that may have been edited in programs such as FineMaster, InShot and many other programs that you may have edited your videos on. You will be able to remove your watermark with no issues. So go ahead and subscribe, follow me on other social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter because you don't want to be missing on my new videos and posts. Link will be on the description box below. Hi, what's up? This is the Tech Girl 007 here teaching you all about the tech. Whether they're tech issues, reviews, tutorials, unboxing and much more. And that all in one, right here on this channel. So the first program that we are using is my current editing software called Fermora 9. Basically, we are going to add bars on the top and the bottom of the video. Not only will this give it a cinematic look but also remove the watermark at the same time. Bring in whichever footage you wanted to edit in Filmora. Go on to effects from the top of the page then select frame from the left side and choose frame called cinema 2 1 ratio 9 and that's it for this one This one is called InShot and we will use our phone to do this. I'm using an Android phone and I'm sure you could download this on your iPhone or iPad and even Samsung tab. And here open the app, click on video, select any video that you'd like, press on the tick icon. Select canvas and just use your two fingers to zoom in a little until the logo is gone. And then the good thing about this app is that you can do all sorts of things with it such as changing the ratio and this in turn will allow you to have a blurry background if you had filmed the video in portrait so that when you upload it to YouTube you wouldn't have the black bars on the sides. You can crop the video to be able to use it on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok etc. Cropping the video from the two sides will also remove the watermark, however, it will make the video much more smaller. Subsequently, there comes another issue. InShot itself leaves its own watermark. But don't worry, you shall be able to remove it by clicking on InShot logo on the right and select remove for free. Then just save the video and export it as 1080 if it's for YouTube. The third one is Sony Vegas, which I used to use before switching over to Filmora 9. You could also add bars on the top and the bottom of the video in here, but I'm not going to show you that in here since I've already shown you that in Filmora 9, which was a preset for that purpose. So in here, I'd like to show you two very easy things that you could do to remove the watermark. First, you could get an image from the internet and place it on top of the logo. And once you have decided where it's meant to be on the video, then you can copy that
that image and paste it a few times so that it can be as long as the video is it's because the file that we got from the internet is not actually an image it is a png and that means you won't be able to stretch the timeline so that you can have it up until the video ends so in this case you just have to copy it and paste it as many times until you are satisfied or you could make your own animated logo which is simply a gif or video in the app called oq animated text link will be in the description box below and just place it in the part where you have the logo and that should solve the issue So iMovie is the one that a lot of beginners use so I thought I should add this to the list and in here you don't do much you just go on to the video you'd like to remove the watermark from select the option for share and then open with iMovie select the crop option which is the option in the middle of the three options at the bottom left of the screen then use your finger to just crop the top only where the watermark is and then press on add here you can see i am playing it and there's no watermark i kind of like this way of removing the watermark because i don't have to do too much cropping on the video now that you're happy with the video press on save and click on save to gallery then select the full hd 1080p for youtube then that's it for this one too right so on to the last one watermark remover is an app that is self-explanatory not only can you remove watermark with this but also add your own pre-made watermark on the video to remove watermark open the app click on the option called select video then select remove watermark and this will allow you to go to your gallery and select video of your choice and once you have opened the video it gives you a preset ratio to crop you can also adjust the ratio by expanding or cropping the little rectangle it gives you so you don't catch too much of the video then once you're happy with the crop play it and then click on save and select save as new last but not least you can also select the pinch option and zoom in the video to crop out the watermark and that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching this video i hope that it helped you in some ways if you're a new viewer i would love to have you on here and hope that you subscribe and press on that bell icon however if you are a returning subscriber please share the word by liking and sharing this video oh and by the way i do have some videos on the description box of this video and all of my playlists listed are there as well take care